Hi guys, thanks for checking out another Natural Hair Sisters video. Today's tutorial is on Curl Formers. I call it Curl Formers 101. Her hair has been washed, deep conditioned, detangled, and what we're going to do is we're going to put curl formers in her hair and the key to having a good curl former set is you have to use small sections. I cannot stress that enough guys you have to use small sections with your curl formers because that takes your hair and makes it slick to the scalp when you part it small it's just like um, when you roll your hair I see different videos and I see people who put like 12 curl formers in their whole head that's just like as if you rolled your hair you wouldn't put 12 rollers in your hair and would expect your hair to come out sleek and neat and that's the same with curl formers curl formers the key to having a nice curl former set is one the product that you put on it you can put uh, like a setting lotion or a wrapping foam lotion on your hair you cannot put too much because your hair will be flaky once it dries and you don't want that you just want a nice shiny spiral um, curl former and all I'm doing is putting the curl formers on her hair but I'm parting the parts rather small in whatever um, style or pattern that you want if you want like a part down the middle then you will put the part down the middle and put the curl formers around but she's not really going to have a uh, a major part in her hair it's just going to be kind of like a natural free-flowing set of curl formers but as you can see her hair her curl formers are not um, big they're close together and that's the key I can't stress that enough her curl formers are in my mind I'll say this in my mind the way I imagine is if I was curling her hair with curlers I wouldn't put 12 curls in her hair and I would want her to hair have a head full of nice beautiful curls I would curl it in smaller sections so that's the way I view the curl formers are like curlers and when I look at her hair that's kind of the way I gauge I say I want the curlers I want her hair I'm sorry I want her curls this size and you know that's how I gauge the curl former so as you can see her parts are not very big her hair is kind of like a a medium density so um I could get away with parting her hair even that big now whereas my other daughter I would have to probably part hers a little smaller because her hair is a lot a whole lot thicker and as you can see her hair is full 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 of curl formers and she's going to sleep in these overnight which is not going to be comfortable I can tell you that now but she doesn't want to sit under the dryer she's sleepy and she's ready to go to bed so uh, she's not going to have a good night however her curls will be beautiful in the morning so as you can see I'm going to show kind of a top view of her hair and you can see where you can almost not even see her scalp and that's what you want with curl formers because when I take her curl formers out you will see her hair is not um, puffy at the root it's still slick and sleek at the roots it looked like maybe um, she had a relaxer or her hair had been um, pressed or something like that but as you can see here, you can barely see her scalp. And that's kind of what you want with curl formers, if you, especially if you want them to last more than one day. Because most people that use curl formers tend to tell you outside of that day, your curls don't really last. But this is one of the ways to kind of help your style to last. This is the next morning. As you can see, her face, she is not a happy camper. She did not sleep well. She didn't even want to wash her face. She was just like, can you please hurry up and get these out of my hair? So... Of course, I understand. So as I take them out, I want you to kind of pay close attention to her scalp because I hear a lot of people say that curl formers, they can't get them close to the scalp. Or I see um, different tutorials where people twist the hair at the root and then put the curl formers on. And that's not really necessary if you put enough curl formers in your hair. And as you can see... Her hair is curled all the way to the end. She didn't even sit under the dryer. I like the way the style comes out better when you sit under the hair dryer. But like I said, she didn't want to. She wanted to go to bed. So this is what you came with. But to me, I think the dryer 
makes the hair even straighter, in my opinion. But this is fine. It came out nice. And as you can see, you can kind of see her scalp where her hair is not puffy at the root. It's sleek. It's slick. And her curls are curled all the way to the end. And if you want, you can leave these like this, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave these. This size, I'm not, what I'm saying is I'm not going to pick through them. I'm going to just leave them the way they are. I'm not going to pick through them to make her hair fuller. She's only 11 years old and she actually has um, an event to go to. Usually I would do something different to the front. Um, like maybe twist it or something like that to the front and maybe give her some curls in the back. But she has an event to go to. So I'm going to kind of leave it curled um, all over. And as you can see, her curls are together. They're not sparse and spaced out. It looks like I curled her hair with um, a set of curlers. And that's the, to me, in my opinion, that's kind of the look you want to go for with Curl Formas. Because for the rest of the week, she wants to be able to um, to play with the styles. And all she has to do at night is kind of put her hair up in like the pineapple and go to sleep and she wants to kind of she wants to really stretch it out because she want to kind of put it in a bun and do things like that to it but this is pretty much it in a nutshell you just have to one is the product that you use on your hair you cannot use too much product like a wrap foam lotion or even if you use a tiny bit of gel and a little bit of um coconut oil or something for shine you just have to use a small 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 amount because one, you don't want it greasy. You want to have the spiral. And two, you don't want it too hard and crunchy. I like them soft. And as you can see, when I touch her hairs, her hair is pretty soft. And I'm going to apologize now. Um, I lost some of the footage. So you won't see her, me take down her whole head. But this is the way her whole head came out. You won't see the other side taken down because... Um, my daughter, my younger daughter was messing around with my iPad and deleted some of the footage I had. So I wasn't able to put that in this video. But if you like, just leave it in the comment section below and I can do another tutorial, um, where you'll get to see the whole head. I may do one of my other daughter's hair and just style the front different. But as you can see, when I take the curl formers out, this is how her whole head came out and the style was really cute and the next time I do this I will trim her ends if I had a complaint I think that would be it because as I look at her ends a couple of the curls are kind of scraggly because she hasn't had a trim in a while but again like I said she was going to an event and I didn't want to deal with all of that because she was tired and she wanted to go to bed and we had to kind of be up a little early in the morning but this is it I hope you guys like it um, if you want another tutorial uh, where you can see where the whole head is finished uh, Leave it in the comment section below and if you guys request it then I'll go ahead and do it But this is the way the other side came out as well um, I hope you like it. I appreciate you watching and until next time. Thanks a lot. Bye